Kai, first of all, congratulations on the move here to Dunfermline Athletic. First of all, just tell us about how the move came about, when you found out about it, and why you felt it was the right place to come to. Yeah, I found out a couple of weeks ago and had a few setbacks. And it just took time and eventually I was looking forward to coming here. And I always wanted to come here on loan no matter what. And I've been looking forward to it. I'm glad to be here. Last year, of course, you had two own spells in the Championship in Burness and then at Race Rovers. How did you find those own spells? What did you make of the Championship? Yeah, no, it was two good loans and I, I liked the both of them. And I think this year I thought them firm when we were the right team to go in. I think they'll be pushing for the league this year and I hope I can help to do that. You obviously played against them firm on last year for um, Wraith in particular in that uh, playoff match at the end of the year, you saw that Dunfermline were aiming for promotion and as you mentioned there, that's the, the goal this season. Is Was that a big attraction for you, the fact that we are really looking to push on and win the title? Yeah, that was one of the reasons I came here and I know from last year the way the gap I played at Alloa would suit me and I think he's got the team to do it this year that could go for the league and I just hope I can here to help to do that. In terms of the style of player that you are, I think I'm right in saying you're more of a, an out-and-out out winger, but would you say that you could you could play in other positions? Are you able to play uh, more centrally, for example? No, I, I like both. I like playing wide, of course, and that's where I played most time. But at the end of the last season, I started playing number 10 and I enjoyed that as well. I could probably play across the front three and I'm happy to play anywhere once I'm on the pitch. That makes me happy. Looking from afar, the first three games in the Premier Sports Cup for Dunfermline have seen two victories and a defeat to St Mirren. A good start for the Pars, do you think? Yeah, no, it was two great starts, of course. That's what you got to do and win. And I think against St Mirren, it's obviously a top Premiership club who are doing well. And um, I think 1-0, obviously you, you hope to win, but I think they were in the game and had the chance to win. So, yeah, it was a great start to the, the Cup. And... Looking forward to Saturday. Nine goals scored in the opening three games for Dunfermline. So we know that the, the attacking side of our play has been really strong so far. You coming in, I'll just add to that, but you know that there's competition for places here. No, I know. I, nine goals a lot in three games and that's why I like to come here because the way the football's played and you're going to create chances and I think it is going to be hard competition, but I'm here to take the jersey and that's what I want to do. You'll be hoping for your first competitive um, game for Dunfermline on Saturday against Denhouse Muir. Um, how are you in terms of fitness-wise? Are you ready to go in if the manager chooses or are you a bit behind? No, I'm ready. I've been working hard behind the scenes and I've been working hard at Rangers. And I had COVID a couple of weeks ago, but as I've come back, I've come back fit and sharp and I'm ready to go. And on Saturday, a win for Dunfermline would give us the best possible chance of reaching the next stage of the Premier Sports Cup. I'm guessing that's the first objective, not just for you, but the whole team is to, to make progress in that cup competition heading into the league campaign. Yeah, I think, of course, any game you want to win in any cup, you want to go through, no matter what, what cup it is. And I think they're in a great position. And looking forward to Saturday and hopefully can get the win to get through to the next round. I could only assume today was your first day training with the boys. What was your initial impressions? No, it was good. The boys were great, welcoming, and I enjoyed today. And the training was good. So, nice and sharp. I'm just looking forward to the weekend. With fans getting back into the stadiums over the last few weeks, Dunfermline were able to get back a 1,000 supporters last weekend. Um, and this weekend, we've already sold over a 1,000 tickets as well. Is that exciting for you, the fact that you're able to go and play in front of crowds again and especially the East End Park support who are always looking to get behind their team? Yeah, no, of course. Obviously, last year was tough for everyone and I think everyone in the world wants to play in front of fans. That's what makes it exciting. And I think this year is going to be a big year and hopefully we can show the fans and I can show the fans as a team that we're going for the league and hopefully we all do well and show the fans what they come to watch. It's been great speaking to you. I think I speak on behalf of all Dunfermline fans and saying welcome to the club and good luck for Saturday. Cheers, thank you.